As more people look into weight loss drugs like Ozempic and Wagovi, we're learning that there could be a downside too. A new study finds that a small percentage of users may experience severe gastrointestinal side effects. Dr. Eric Griggs joins us with a closer look at the study and what you need to know about it. Good morning to you. Good morning. So these, this is Ozempic and Wagobi. Um, what kind of side effects? So the first thing is we want to say that these side effects are rare. They're indeed rare, but in, you, know, they, you have to report them if they occur. One of them is called an ileus, uh, which, which can mean that a blockage in your small intestine or large intestine. And then further, it's a gastroparesis, which means uh, paralysis of your stomach muscles. This is uh, research based on a uh, study for the, the University of British Columbia. Mm -hmm. and, and we're talking, I mean, it's really rare, something like 1%. Yeah, it's, it's a very, very small, when I say uh, gastroparesis, it's uh, muscles that in aid in digestion. Uh, these drugs work on what's called GLP-1. It's glucagon-like protein. It's a hormone that mimics what's made by the body. Sends a signal to the brain to say that you're full, increases insulin, decreases your, your glucose, works great for um, diabetes, uh, and over the last 10 decade, it's been used off-label for weight loss. So what, what, what happens is you slow things down. If you slow down the gastric emptying, uh, if you slow down at the peristalsis as it moves to the intestine, eventually it can cause nausea, vomiting, constipation, and possibly it could lead to uh, paralysis of the gas, the and stomach emptying. For what I read, most patients actually do experience constipation or nausea, or so, there's some something. So it should it be all that surprising that there would be more serious? No, it's not. No, it's, it's not, which is why they say it's extremely rare. Again, you've got to think about it. You're slowing everything down. Uh, and as slowing it down, your body takes more time to absorb nutrients, uh, which can cause you to eat less. It sends signals to the brain for you to stop eating, giving you that full satiety uh, uh, sensation. So yeah, this is further along down the line, but it's something that you should definitely talk to your healthcare provider about. And, and forgive me, I'm, I, maybe I should know this. I've read a number of stories about the research and what it's showing. I'm gathering what happened here is they started prescribing this drug and then people noticed, oh, hey, this is great for weight loss too, and then it, it had a broader purpose? Is That's that exactly the way it happens. We have, we've had that happen with a number of drugs. Uh, you know, it, 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 and that's, that's the science of things. What happened here, though, as it got more and more prescribed, and estimated in 2022, 40 million people uh, were on the GLP-1s. 40 million and a population of 330 million. So as the numbers increase, you're going to see those rarer things come out just on sheer volume. But relative to the total number of people that take the drugs, the side effects are rare. But if you have issues, any issues with your stomach or your GI tract, have a long conversation with your health care provider. You know, let, we, let's face it, um, a lot of people need to lose weight. I'm trying to lose a little weight myself, actually, so not, I'm not coming at this from a point of superiority. Some people might look at this and say, hey, if you can lose 25, 30 pounds, that far outweighs the slight risk that you might have these unlikely side effects. W w would you agree with well, that? Yeah, and, th and that's the conversation you need to have with your health care provider. Is the risk worth it? Again, these side effects that are described are rare. Uh, though the nausea, vomiting, and constipation can tend to be common, um, it's something that you have a long conversation with your health care provider. And the about. point is, be aware of the risk. Be, be aware of the risk. Uh, talk about uh, titration, individualized therapy, possibly uh, with your doctor. That might, not, might include the injectable, but also lifestyle modification. Let's not forget lifestyle modification, smaller portions. Exercising. I know you're big into that. Yeah. We have big plates here in America. <laughs> we do. All right, Dr. Eric Griggs, thank you. It is uh, coming up on 